There is a saying that one picture is a thousand words, and indeed images tell us a lot about the situation. So in fact, vision is our most powerful sense in understanding the world around us. In my work, we try to make robots see in a bid to boost their intelligence. There are many tasks out there where automation can make a real difference. Whether this is to digitize an archaeological structure, to help in search and rescue, inspect a power plant or help with crop monitoring, then computer vision and robotics have a lot to offer and can have a great impact. The marriage of these two disciplines has drawn quite some attention, with this being the first system back in 2007 to demonstrate that it is possible to track the motion of a camera while it is moving in real time. On the right-hand side, you can see the map of image patches that it builds. So it wasn't long before people started to port such systems on board their robots, such as this small drone here. So and I'd like to draw your attention to this cable that's connecting the drone to a desktop machine, because that's where all data was streamed down to be processed. By the end of this project, we managed to have all computation on board. And this was the first autonomous flight of its kind to be able to do that with a single camera and an inertial sensor. So as you can see here, given the limited onboard memory, we could still only keep track of a very limited set of past poses. And in fact, small aircraft pose some of the most difficult challenges for robotic perception. So they are safer than larger robots, but that means that they have limited onboard resources. They're fast and agile, but that means we need faster algorithms to keep track of them. So a drone cannot really stop and wait for an algorithm to complete in the same way that a car can. In my lab, this is our vision. We try to develop visual perception and intelligence for a team of small aircraft equipped with cameras in a bid to first try and make them move autonomously in space as individuals and then work as a team to collaboratively perceive their environment. Along the same line is this project Aeroworks that we are part of that aims at automating industrial inspection and maintenance. So here we have a small team of drones equipped with onboard sensors as well as a robotic arm. And in the project, we are developing the capabilities for this team to assist us in difficult missions. As drones pose some of the most difficult challenges to achieve this vision, we argue that if we are able to develop these algorithms for drones, then their extension to additional platforms can be rather straightforward. But before we are able to realize this vision, we need to focus on three main challenges. First of all, we need a robust, robot localization and mapping. This forms the backbone of the understanding of space for a robot, and we really need to be robust in common issues such as changing weather and changing lighting conditions, otherwise our robots can really get lost. The second challenge deals with effective enough scene reconstruction. So as localization and mapping often only provide us, provides us with a sparse representation of the scene, Sometimes we need a more accurate and denser reconstruction before our robot is able to interact with the environment, for example, to grasp an object or even to avoid obstacles while flying. How useful would it be if a drone was intelligent enough to override the commands of a pilot while he or she is driving it into a wall? Now, finally, our third challenge deals with how we can make robots work together as a team to collaboratively perform a task. For example, to share information and build a common map of their environment, or even to share the load of an object to be transported. So essentially, with these three challenges, we aim to address robotic perception and collaboration and I believe these are key to create robots that are ready for real missions. Giving them this ability to see and work together as a team has the potential to revolutionize the way that we employ robots today. And I leave you with this thought. As robots become more autonomous and more able to capture and compute the world around us, they can be a wonderful tool for creativity and they definitely promise to transform our lives. Now this transformation can be marvelous but we need to understand and take advantage of it. Thank you.